Hello lovelies, this is Chrissy cooking at home. I am Chrissy. Shocking, I know. But it is what it is, and I am her. It, I'm gonna ramble. This, this is one of those videos. This is a life update video. It's been a while, and it's been just a roller coaster. It is almost four o'clock in the morning. I need to get dishes done. I need to get the house picked up. It's what I do every morning because I crash before Sweetheart has his dinner. I make dinner and then I crash because <laughs> it's crazy. So we're going to get dishes done. Um, you are not in my window facing me because it is cold. I don't know what the temperature is, but I woke up to a, a cold house and I tried to turn on the furnace. I woke up because of back pain. So you're going to see my shame. Usually you don't see the dirty dishes. You just see me like this rambling. So we're just going to organize the dirty dishes together, get it going, you can see the leftover fried catfish and beer batter, onion rings and potato wedges over there. Yeah. Close that. We're just gonna get this going. Here I get this going, let's get this going. So I am in jammy clothes, like comfy, comfy wonky clothes. <sighs> Let's get it going. Okay, so I haven't had coffee yet. Coffee's brewing. I thought, you know, I haven't talked to y'all in a while. Um, the last thing I posted was Nellie's birthday dinner. I haven't even checked to see if y'all even liked that. My laptop crashed. It just, I don't have a laptop to do any video editing, to do any uploading, nothing. So what I worked out with Mr. Logan is I'm going to be using his gaming laptop to do my YouTube. And also work on my spreadsheets. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Um, in life update videos, I do dishes. I don't have one of them fancy electronic dishwasher things. I do them by hand. Not only did I make dinner yesterday, I keep turning my back on you, but I'm sorry. Not only did I do dinner yesterday, but I did uh, make, finish, finish making a cheesecake for sweetheart. It was a cinnamon roll cheesecake. Now, I'll be honest. I think the recipe sucked. Sweetheart has not tried it yet. It might not actually suck. Okay. I'll explain. Things are emptied, sitting with the Dawn Spray, uh, beer batter, we 
have a dirty scrape somewhere. Hurry up, coffee. I don't see one. So we're going to dirty a rubber scraper. So. I'll tell you why it might just be me. It's called hormonal issues. Now my hormonal issues is called perimenopause. No joke. It's a, it's a fun thing to go through at any age. And at 41, it is what it is. Now, I'm, I'm done having kids. You know, if you've seen my other videos, you know that after I had little Miss Nellie, who just turned a year old, uh, they, when they did the C-section, they went in and removed my fallopian tubes. Since birth control failed, and she was our little, little surprise blessing. I mean... We had tried for so long to have a baby, and after, I'm gonna cry, after so many miscarriages, just couldn't go through it anymore. Hormones! So, on birth control I went, and IUD, and it went missing after, after being on it for a year, um, it went missing, and I didn't realize. Um, the theory is that it fell out, and I didn't catch it, so, it is what it is. Oh, wait, don't close the trash can. <laughs> this is not much left of what I cooked. Put away some clean dishes. Okay. So now I've started perimenopause. And that's fine. I'm not gonna try for any more anyways. <laughs> no, with my fallopian tubes being gone. So, you know, pardon me. Well, coffee pot sounds like it needs clean. silverware BRB. Okay, this is so awkward to have you to my left instead of looking up. I might put you back in the window. I don't know. I went ahead and after I put away the silverware, I cleaned the sink and uh, filled it because I learned that the microphone picks up the water running from my new faucet. 
better than me. <laughs> it picks up background noise better than me. I don't know why. It it just does. Um Anyways, my whole point was with that was things taste different. And it fluctuates. And it's just so fun. Now, let's see. I have to share two more cooking videos. Uh, one is Mr. Logan's, which I mentioned. Oh, no, I haven't mentioned. I'm mentioning now. Hopefully I get that up before I get this up. And then uh, oatmeal cookie recipe. It's an old recipe. Um... Can you hear the cat? It's got a very loud, distinctive meow. It's it louder. Um, hopefully I can get those posted now that I'll be using Mr. Logan's gaming laptop to do that. I'll get this posted too. So, what else is going on, Chrissy? Well, we are working hard in Nellie's PT to get her standing and walking. She finally shows a desire that she wants to which is huge. She didn't have a desire before. Logan's handling the cat. We had moved, when Nellie was born and we had the swing, we moved the coffee table to the kitchen and put it under the island's flap so we could still get to the pantry. It was a tight fit, but we could get to the pantry. And that way in the living room, we had way more room for her swing and um, just way more room for her swing and to get around the swing. <laughs> Um, in PT last week, we had a different PT taking over for our PT who suggested we move the coffee table back into the living room. Um, so she had better cruising furniture. Well, that made sense. But over the past year, we've been using the coffee table to hold bulk food from like Sam's Club and BJ's like Cheez-Its and cheese puff snacks and oatmeal, like the big box of oatmeal packets, my 20 pound, 25 pound bag of flour. Like it was just nice to have it right there. And it gave me more room in the pantry for other things. It was also holding the bulk food cereal. You know, it was just you know, a, a pretty decent sized coffee table. So it was just nice. So then I was scrambling. What do I do? What do I do? Because there was no room in the pantry. So I'm scrambling, reorganizing the pantry, getting that figured out. So then my friend Lindsay tells me she has this cabinet that's just sitting in her garage. She's not sure if it's what I'm looking for. But if I want it, I can have it. So I go to her place because I wanted to borrow 
a little plastic toddler chair to work on some of Nellie's PT. And, you know, she said, come, come get it to borrow. So I look at this cabinet. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous cabinet. It's got, the door has carving inlays on it and it's just beautiful. It's black. So I'm like, it's, you don't want this? She opens it up and it has a shelf. And I'm like, Lindsay, this is perfect. You don't want this? You don't need this? She goes, no, it's just been sitting here for a couple of years, collecting dust. I'm like, I'll absolutely take this off your hands. It's perfect. Perfect. So the Dollar Tree, I picked up four little plastic bins. And then I used two plastic bins that I had and organized the bulk food. So it's got like ramen in it, Splenda packets, cheese puffs, Cheez-Its, oatmeal packets. Um, I think that's it because the ramen was the big 48 packs with a huge white basket thing. I mean, it's just huge. And then on top we have um, a metal bin that is holding Nellie's um, SpaghettiOs, Kansas SpaghettiOs. And then on one side is my big bag of flour and then also some Girl Scout cookies. So it's just so perfect and it's so beautiful that I want, I want to um, prime it, the doors. I don't care if the rest is black, the doors that it's carved. It's like the center is this huge flower and the, the handle is like the center of the flower. And on the outside of the flower is like leaves and vines. And then each corner is like a sunshine. That's what it looks like to me. So I want to paint it. I want to prime it and then paint it many colors. <laughs> it's just so pretty. <laughs> it's just so pretty. I just, I just think it's gorgeous. Did I mention the cheesecake I made? I think socks. Salmon roll cheesecake. Sweetheart found it on Facebook. I googled recipes. I said I'd try every recipe I could until I found a good one. I think this one sucks. But Sweetheart has to try it. He might like it. I don't think it's cinnamon rolly enough. And it tasted salty to me. Like, what the French toast, people? <clears throat> Maybe it's just me. I have to wait and see. If it was cheesecake for me, I would have thrown it in the garbage immediately. But I didn't make it for me. I made it for sweetheart. I tasted it out of morbid curiosity. I just was utterly curious. I didn't want cheesecake. I wasn't the mood for cheesecake. I spent two days making that cheesecake. I'll stop talking about the cheesecake. You know, back on the cheesecake. <laughs> I might take my cheesecake recipe and do my own kind of thing with it to make a salmon roll cheesecake. I don't know. Oh, Mr. Logan's doing good. He has graduated out of PT. I don't think I've told you. He just has to finish out this school year and then he's done. He's almost done with this school year. He'll be testing for the homeschool committee. Um, if you're not familiar with upstate, if you're not familiar with uh, <coughs> New York State, I'm not sure how other, other states do it, but New York State homeschool. He has to do an equivalency test. 
at the end of the year to prove growth to kind of like prove that he's been getting an education at home which is hard it's nerve-wracking because he's special needs and he shows regression in public school but if he shows regression at home we're in trouble so it's like i just want to be a big f you so it's very nerve-wracking at the end of every year because he's shown regression in public school he has not done it in homeschool but it's just it's just nerve-wracking I say I'm done. I don't want to do the dishes anymore. Okay, let's rinse. BRB. I have a question. If you're watching this, answer in the comments. I'm very curious. I feel like I am the only one in this house that cares if the dishes are done, if the floors are clean, if the toilet's been scrubbed. I feel like I'm the only one that cares. Like, nobody else cares. Is it the same in your house? I'm very curious. Like, for the average family. That's just what it feels like. Nobody else cares. And you can't say, I can't say nobody else cares because, you know, it's not like Nellie knows the difference. She's one. She turned a year old last month, so. I just get around to cleaning in the morning to start the day off and I feel like I'm doing the exact same thing on autopilot every flipping day do the dishes sweep vacuum mop scrub the bath Pick up the toys before I sweep and vacuum and mop, and then put the toys exactly back where they need to go for working on Nellie's physical therapy at home. Like when I'm down, like if you don't know, if you're new, I have a lot of health problems, a lot <laughs> of health problems, um, neurological condition, uh, I have a migraine condition, I have lesions on my white matter that causes <coughs> debilitating migraines. Um, I have, um, uh, back problems that need back surgery that I'm trying to delay <coughs> until Nellie is more mobile. So I don't have to worry about picking her up. To change diapers. just 
just a whole slew of other things, autoimmune diseases and um, fibromyalgia and, you know, the neurological condition causes a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of issues. But, uh, I'm here, I'm fighting every day, I'm doing the best I can, but there are some days when I don't function well. Like today, I woke up because of back pain. It may have been I overdid it yesterday because I went to bed with back pain. I went to bed with the heating pad on. I went to bed not sure if I should be icing or heat. Sometimes I need to ice, sometimes I need heat. Never know which. I have a combination of issues with my back that requires the back surgery. And the combination of issues, one requires heat, one requires ice, the other requires heat, the other requires ice. It's just a lovely mess. That's me. Um, a chiropractor I used to see before we found out how bad my back was said I was a conundrum wrapped in an enigma. Pretty sure that's how he put it. It's been a really good explanation <laughs> because I also have uh, an, I have hypotension, not hypertension. I may be morbidly obese, but I have hypotension and arrhythmia. Now I get judged immediately because of my size doesn't matter that I've already lost a hundred pounds. Doesn't matter. I'm still fat. Doesn't matter. A lot of healthcare professionals assume they're going to expect extremely high blood pressure. I've never had high blood pressure. My blood pressure has always been perfect, beautiful. Well, ever since my second trimester with Miss Nellie, I have had hypotension and arrhythmia. And uh, my primary care doctor wanted to blame my meds. It wasn't my meds. Um, I finally got in to see a cardiologist after running a battery of tests. And bless her heart, she was beautiful. She was wonderful. She figured out I was not getting enough salt in my diet. If I don't get enough salt, I drink a lot of water. If I don't get enough salt in my diet, my blood pressure plummets to like 70 over 30. My heart rate drops to like 30, 35. And I hit the freaking floor. Down I go. Watch my pickled watermelon ride video. You see it happen. But if I get enough salt, I can maintain at least 90 over 50. I can maintain a heart rate of around 50. And that's good for me. hypotension and arrhythmia. They're leery to say the pregnancy brought it on. They're more apt to say that it's from my uh, weight loss surgery that I am not absorbing salt the way a normal person would. Because when you have weight loss surgery, you do not absorb nutrients, some nutrients, depending on your body, the way a person without weight loss surgery would. Like calcium, iron, vitamin D, B12, that's a big one. Um, 
um, for me, the nutrient I am not absorbing the most seems to be salt. I am not a big salt eater. I do not salt my plate. I never have. I'm a sweet eater. I like sweets. That's been my downfall. So, I've had to work extra hard to salt my food. After it's cooked, salt my plate, salt my plate, salt my plate. I take my meds. Sometimes if I've not been good about salting my plate. I will take my meds with a cup of bouillon because bouillon loaded with salt. Loaded. Um, if I ever have a heart attack, be hard for them to understand that my blood pressure is high and my heart rate is high when it's going to appear probably normal or slightly elevated because I'm weird. Got off onto a rambling tangent. It's been 30 minutes, but I have been rambling at you. I rambled, I rambled, rambled. Oh, poor sweetheart. His ears plugged again and can't hear. It's fully earwax. I've been thinking about getting one of those uh, earwax removal tool things that has a light and a camera. I don't know. Well, I'm down to this pan. Uh, these two bowls, there's two, this pot, and this greasy sheet pan that I had the food on, and then to rinse all the dishes I just washed. So it's been 30 minutes. I don't know if I should keep rambling at you. What else can I ramble at you about? Seriously. <sighs> BRB. Okay, I know something else I can tell you about. My dermatologist appointment. For the first time ever since going to dermatology, I did not need a mole removed to be tested. Can you believe it? How awesome. So, I also asked my dermatologist about my nails. Now, since I started perimenopause, for the first time in my life, my nails are splitting, peeling, cracking, and breaking. First time ever. Like, it didn't even happen after weight loss surgery, which can happen. I lost my hair, which is why I ended up with that mohawk in the beginning of my video series because I shaved my head completely and wore wigs for a while. And then uh, when my hair started to grow back normal, it got on my nerves. And then um, I let it do mohawk for a while. I really loved my mohawk. And then when I got pregnant with Miss Nelly, I decided to let it just grow. And now it's just growing. <clears throat> It did not grow at all while pregnant, just so you know. <laughs> it just didn't. And so she was no help whatsoever with my nails. I asked her about hair, skin, and nail supplement. She said there is no proof whatsoever that the biotin in the hair, skin, and nail supplement actually helps. Bummer. I said, well, since I've had weight loss surgery, I do have to take extra supplements because I do not absorb supplements. I do not absorb certain vitamins and minerals like a normal person. So I was thinking maybe um, vitamin E. She goes, you could if you wanted to, but that might not help either. And she goes, without a rash, I can't diagnose anything. 
So the best thing you can do that might not help is a good lotion. So nothing's going to help me. <laughs> she goes, stay away from nail polish. Stay away from nail polish removers. And just do a really good, high quality lotion. Okay. You're no help. So I started with V. That did not help. I love my CeraVe too. Um, it's great for eczema. It's great for dry skin. It's just all around great. Did not help my nails. So then I grabbed my Avon uh, Intensive Moisture. That started to help a little. Helped more than anything else. But did it fix it? Nope. Is anything fixing it? Nope. Why, Chrissy? Why? Hormones. If it's not a vitamin deficiency, it's hormones. It is my crazy fun hormone fluctuation. It is the roller coaster I have been on for the last, oh, six months or so. Uh, putting my family through hell with the mood swings. Putting me through hell with the mood swings and the hot flashes. Hot flashes are embarrassing in public, well, let me tell you. To all of a sudden break out into a sweat and turn beet red and to look as young as I look. <laughs> oh. It's great. Because already nobody believes that I'm 40, 41. I'm 41 years old. Nobody believes it. People yell at me in the store. In the store, in the gas station, in the liquor store, the beer store. Present my ID, state my date of birth. I get yelled at. Or when I state that I have a 21 year old son, I get yelled at. Sorry, I don't fit your image of a 41 year old woman. what it is. So when I break out into a hot flash in the public, the misery that comes with it comes a mood swing. It's fun. Can you hear the sarcasm? <clears throat> Logan's gonna cook now. He's making himself some breakfast. Can you hear the birds chirping outside? Like I said, my microphone picks up background noise better than it picks up me. It's fun washing this giant sheet pan in my sink because it don't fit. Symptoms. They are similar to perimenopausal symptoms. 
I feel sorry for my family. And if you want to, you can feel sorry for me too. Because I feel sorry for my family. They have to endure the mood swings. I try to keep them in check. I try to keep my irrational behavior in check. Try. Because one second I'm extremely angry. Extremely. And I want to yell at them. Sometimes I do. And then in the next second, within 30 seconds after I want to scream at them, I am bawling my eyes out. I feel sorry for them. But I'm lucky they still love me. Well, I have rambled for 41 minutes. If you've made it to the end, congratulations. You like my rambling. Look my gloves. They're puncture proof. Not proof. Puncture resistant. They help with the fingers not drying out, your skin not drying out with washing dishes and cleaning things. Like I gotta clean my stove. It's pretty gross. And then I gotta clean the bathroom. Bathrooms are gross. Chemicals. Dry out your hands. Keep your hands nice and young. And then with the nail issue now, Puncture resistant. I'm gonna get uh, another. I'm gonna get these again. Um, I'm gonna get the longer ones when I run out. I got a three pack. The first one eventually did get punctured. Um, this is the second set. The third set's under the sink. Once I go through them, I will get the longer ones that go to the elbow. Definitely worth it. I've had this pack for a year. Pretty cool. Okay, I'll shut up. Till next time.